Let's get started. Here are your options. Please tell me which one you'd like. Location information or a department. Department. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Please choose one of the following options. You can say location information or a department. Department. I'm sorry, I still didn't catch that. Rather than take up any more of your time, I'll transfer you to someone who can help you further. Just a second. Well, guy. This call could be recorded or monitored for quality assurance. If you would prefer an interpreter, we will be happy to provide the service upon request. Oh, yeah. Um, Y'all must be pretty busy today, huh? Yes, we are. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I was on the phone for about five minutes. Uh, I had a complaint. I know who I was supposed to talk to to address my complaint. Okay. Is it with a certain department or a certain person? Well, well, past couple times it's been the, the greeter. Okay. Do you know the greeter's name? I don't know. I know every time I come in there, I don't know if it's some new policy y'all got going on, but I don't have my milk in a bag. I don't know anybody would put their milk in a bag, but they got to stop all the time like I'm stealing something and want to see my receipt for milk in the bag. And I know I see people walk in and out of there all the time with milk. What are they going to do on a busy day when they got 20 people walking out with milk going to stop and see everybody's receipt? But I think they just stopping me for profiling or whatever. Okay, I'm sorry about this. It's not one particular greeter, it's every greeter? It's been a couple. I don't know their names. I could... Oh, okay. I could All point right. them. Let me go ahead and get you over to the manager in charge, and they can best help you, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Department. Oh, John, speaking out, please. Uh, yes, uh, I just wanted to call and complain on a, a couple greeters. I don't know their names. The first man that I spoke with, well, he was very nice. But um, it's about, I guess, some new policy y'all might have going on where you got to stop everybody that don't have their milk in a bag. I've been stopped many times, and I come in there all the time, but I've seen groups walk out in front of me and their milk ain't in a bag. But every time that I come through... You know, they got to stop and see my receipt. And, I, you know, I'm like, what are y'all going to do on a busy day? Stop everybody that comes through there? I don't know anybody that puts milk in a bag. And it just is hassle. And I think that it's profiling against me because I see other people walk out in front and they don't have theirs in a bag either. Well, well uh, let, me, let me explain. First of all, they shouldn't be checking anything whether your milk's in the bag or out of the bag. What, what they should be checking on, any large items like dog food, detergents, uh, in electronics so they're out of bags, stuff like that. Right, well, I could understand that. Okay. That's why it didn't make any sense to me. Absolutely. That's why I don't understand why they're checking milk. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me, but I'll go back where you can recover with them again and make sure they make sure they, they understand. And if you have any more issues, please let me know. No, I appreciate it. That's, that's a big relief hearing you say that because that's what I figured. I was like, you know, it's milk. I don't know anybody that puts their milk in a bag, you no. know. But, no, uh-uh. It'd fall right out of them bags anyway. Yeah, if you could, next time you have an issue, let me know specifically who it was. That way I can address it and use it as a teaching tool for them. Okay. I appreciate your time, sir. You've been very kind. No problem, sir. You have a good evening. All right. You too. Thanks. Uh, Bye-bye. Department.